Yeah. Hi, I'm Jason Rogel, J-A-S-O-N, Rogel. And it's the greatest day interviews of my <laughs> life. Tell, tell us how you became an actor. Um, I mean, it was it's like school plays and then I kind of, I what was it? It was, it started out with the Christmas pageants we had. I went to Catholic school for 35 years. And we would do like a the you know, the annual Christmas pageant, and I think it was sixth grade. I was like one of the leads, and it was pretty awesome. And I was like, oh shit, I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> uh, so kind of just kept doing the school plays, and then it carried over into high school, um, and then I started taking drama classes in high school when it was like the elective thing, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, my teachers encouraged me, and uh, and then you know was like the lead in a couple. You know the the I was the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland, uh, and then um, what did we do? Oh, and then I was like Mr. Bumble and Oliver. <laughs> but either way, both of my drama school teachers were like, "Oh, you should like really consider studying, you know, theater." So. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, but and then in college, but yeah, then there's the whole, like, my mom was like, you know, be a nurse. So, <laughs> for whatever reason in my head, uh, the, the, the practical option of being able to do theater uh, or study theater in college was like, I'll come in as a tech or, you know, like, because I, I love doing um, makeup and stage makeup, and that was something I really was into, Rick Baker, Stan Winston, all that stuff. Uh, so I was like, oh, maybe, you know, I'll come in this way, do that, learn that. And then part of the curriculum was acting, went back into, I uh, took some of the classes because I was part of it. And then I was like, mm, no, I'm really me meant to be on stage. <laughs> so um, halfway through college, I switched to a performance major from, from tech. Um, and then, uh, and then kind of just stuck with it since. And then, I don't know, hi, I'm here. <laughs> what was your first professional acting job? Um, I mean, like, Union Professional was, uh, this uh, Royal Bank of Scotland commercial. Uh, I got Taff Hartlead for that. Um, and, uh, we, it was, I didn't say shit in it. It's literally this face, uh, as, uh, as, uh, what were we, we were, like, a company retreat in the mountains. And, um, that was it. And I, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I've arrived. Uh, All right, next steps. We're a team, right? right? Right. In accordance with procedural policy of my bank, I propose a risk assessment steering committee to assess the risk. <laughs> what was your family's reaction to that moment? I mean, my, my mom was like, oh, that's good, whatever. It, I don't, it wasn't until later that my mom was like really on board with the acting thing. Uh, and even then, it's not a compliment. It's just like, oh, I saw you. That's good. Not I was good or like, you know, like I saw you. But then I, you know, then I come to find out that, you know, she, she will be bragging to her, her coworkers and, and my aunties and all that shit. And then I'll hear from them. Oh, your mom said you were in the bones. And I was like, oh, did she? And then, yeah, yeah, she made, she told everybody in the, in the, the nurse's ward to, to watch the bones. And uh, yeah, so, you know. It's one. Of, it's Asian mom, Filipino mom. Like, n no approval to your face, but bragging about it <laughs> behind your back to everybody else. Uh, do you remember the first audition you ever went on? <sighs> I, I, well, the well, like one of the very first ones I remember. I think it, I'm pretty sure it was like, I think it was like a Domino's pizza thing. I think. That might have been like the first one or the first topless audition I had. They were very, it was like they were back to back. I know on my very first commercial audition, it was a commercial one. And, and uh, I didn't know like what any of the like technical terms meant, like slate and profiles and stuff. So uh, I just remember standing there and they were like, you know, slate your name and then uh, profiles. And I was like, okay. And so then they were like, go. And they were like, slate. And I was like, Yes. <laughs> and they were like, what's your name? And I'm like, mm, Jason Rogel. And they're like, profiles. And I'm like, five, six, blah, blah, blah. Do you need to know my weight? And they're like, no, no. Okay, we're going to start over. 
say your name and then show us your left profile and your right profile. And I was like, mmm. So that was, yeah, that was, I that, that happened during my first audition. <laughs> the pizza one, I remember so well because it burned into my head because that was, that was the first topless audition. <laughs> what happened? I think it was for this new Hawaiian pizza <laughs> that Domino's was putting out. So they were looking at Hawaiians and, um, and you know, you just showed up in a fucking grass skirt and, uh, and they, I got in the room and they were like, oh, great, great. So this is, you know, we're going for Hawaii. We're going for like that Polynesian look. Can you lose the shirt? And I was like, oh, like, like right here, right now. And then I was like, mm -hmm. yeah. So I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't ready for that, but like, I like had to turn and like kind of like print the nipples because I think I watched Showgirls too many times. But I was like, oh, I wasn't, I wasn't ready for that. What do you not like about auditioning or the Hollywood oh thing? Um, how long are these interviews supposed to be? Like you, and you just, you're literally throwing yourself out there and not knowing like what's going to come out of it. So like whether you're good or not. So I think that for me is the most, um, unlikable thing about the audition circuit process, you know, all of that. Um, I think, I don't know. I could think of worse really <laughs> probably. I don't know. Do you know you're good? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on what I, yeah, it depends on what I'm doing. And then I'm like, yes, I was great at that. I am great at this. Um, do you, do you enjoy yeah. watching yourself? Uh, not, uh, not, not, nah. I mean, in the beginning was really hard, but I think that's uh, like, that's for a lot of actors or I don't know, maybe, I don't know what, you know, like, I don't know if Brooke Shields was ever like, I hate watching myself. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I picked her. <laughs> That's such a <laughs> random reference. <laughs> pretty people. I don't know if pretty people are like, I'm so, I'm so uncomfortable looking at my beautiful self. But um, uh, for me particularly, I, you know, it's like you see like all the little things that you, you do in life or you don't know that you do. <laughs> it's all magnified, of course. So uh, it was tough in the beginning, but then it's also good to watch yourself so that you know you do these little things and then not to do them. So I've grown to, I don't love it, I don't like it, I, but I, 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 I've grown to, to be okay with it, to, to better a performance, whatever, you know. How do you feel when you're on set? Um, I mean, I love it. I love, I mean, a working is always good. Uh, that said, <laughs> uh, I think it depends on what, what capacity. <laughs> when, when you're on set in the, in, in a, in a leading role or that kind of, I mean, for me, that's the best fucking thing ever. Like you're, it's like summer camp, and you know you're you're there, you're working, you're getting you're getting to create, and you're with this same group of people for however month or law or whatever time that you're stuck together, creating this stuff, you know, this project or working on this project, and and for me, I love that. Like that's, I mean, it is. It's like summer camp, and uh, it's great. What's your favorite thing you've done? Um. I really had a great time on, on the mistletones. I mean, it's just like, I used, so I like, I grew up singing with, my, my dad was a musician, so I grew up singing with uh, them, uh, him and my family um, uh, as a kid. So like Sound of Music and Annie and all that stuff. I grew up with, uh, my, my dad exposes to a lot of musical theater stuff um, when I was a kid. So that's always just been like in the heart, the root. <laughs> so, um, I mean, getting to do that, we're, we're singing and dancing and the cast was, so much fun to work with and yeah that's kind of been one of my favorites what's your favorite genre to watch horror mostly with uh greatest day nicole <laughs> and greatest day ellen d williams <laughs> uh and a ton of i mean like yeah i mean all my friends know that i'll watch just about any horror movie so why do you like horror it's it so my childhood the one half was musical theater and then the other half was horror movies <laughs> so uh it explains a lot about me um <laughs> but yeah i mean i i think my my dad was really into horror i think is how i got exposed to it so um i just i love it i don't know what it it's like the the great thing about horror is it could be so over the top and so ridiculous but still scare the shit out of you but and then it could also be like 
a person trapped in a room by themselves and that's the most horrifying thing there's just, it's such it there like it covers so much and and you know like i don't know they're I don't know what it. Everything is horrifying. That's why I love it. I, I don't know. I love it. I, and then for me also, uh, with the special effects thing, I think that's uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller, uh, uh, American, and in, in, in what is it, Paris, London? I can't remember what the original one was. But like, like that, like getting exposed to that early too. Like I love the special effects and and stuff like that. It's just it's neat. It just takes you outside of. I don't know. I I love it. Well, yeah. you're a makeup. Yeah, person, and so like so. yeah, so that I mean yeah, getting exposed to that early on, it, I love the genre, and then I love like yeah, the 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 technical aspect, making that stuff happen, making that like that was always been fascinating to me. Is there anything besides acting in the business that you like to foray into? No, I mean you no, know, you know, like I always thought like like in the beginning, I was like, oh, you better have a backup plan, so. Um, I did go into theater publicity in the beginning, so that was something that I enjoyed uh, and thought, hey, this would be great to do and, and more practical and stable. At least that's how I saw it in my head. Um, but then I just, I missed being on stage so much. Outside of performing in the arts and, well, and casting. Cast, I love casting. Uh, and uh, and I, to this day, I still help you know uh, people do with the projects and I, I help out with Royal Caribbean and all that stuff. It's just there's something something really great about seeing talent and then like almost like discovering talent like like to me i think that's like the coolest thing where you you know you see hundreds and thousands of people and you're like to to be able to pluck out somebody and and be like you, you know you just you're like here i hear i brought you this person like there's something i don't know there's something kind of cool about that i love it and uh uh but outside of that i don't I wanted to be like a marine biologist when I was young, because I, I the sea like sea animals I, I really enjoy. I don't know. I don't know if I still do, but <laughs> at one point I I wanted to be like a you know, uh, like work at Sea World, um, and like you know, swim with Shambu. I don't know. That was something really cool. You me. could do a movie about it. Right. See now I can now I can just play anything. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Film or TV, comedy or drama? Uh, I, I mean, I like TV. I'm a, I like I like film also. I don't know film to me, you know, because it's so short and it's and you know, um, film is always like summer cap to me, and who doesn't love summer cap? So that's fun. Uh, but TV, you usually get to work longer, so who doesn't like to work longer? <laughs> um, I'll go with film. Because it's it's summer camp, uh, and then what did you see? Comedy drama. Uh, I get in. I get so like, like comedy for me is more, just, you know, that's been my life. <laughs> so, uh, I feel I definitely feel more comfortable doing that. But but I do like the dramas. And uh, you know, I I I definitely am in a different mindset with that. So I think that also depends on what the drama is. I don't know, but it's for me, it's more work. <laughs> um. What is a role that you really get recognized for a ton? I, I, I think I'm just not very recognizable. I don't know that I'm, I, I also have like natural resting bitch face. So, um, I think nine out of 10, if people recognize me, they just are like, oh no. He are looks, you saying you're unapproachable? He angry. <laughs> <laughs> Which is weird. I don't know. But then I like to smile at people randomly too. So uh, who knows? <laughs> do you prefer um, learning the lines ahead of time, or do you prefer cold reading? I'm, I feel like I'm I'm better when I I learn the lines ahead of time. I, I, I don't know. I mean, cold reading, I'm trying to get better at it. I swear to God, if you give me something to read now. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, for me, I feel like once if I'm off book, then I feel like I can just play more, if that makes sense. Hi, I'm Jason Rogel, and this is apparently the funeral scene from Steel Magnolias. Yes, yes, I feel fine. I, I feel great. I, I could jog to Texas and back, but my, my daughter can't. Um, she never could. 
Uh, I'm so mad and I, I don't know what to do. I, I, I want to know why. Um, I, I want to know why Shelby's life is, is over. Oh, is this like the eulogy? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I don't remember this scene. <laughs> I, don't, I clearly don't remember this at all. That was great. Now, how do you feel about cold reading? I was fine. <laughs> I mean, if I have to do it, I'll do it. And, you know, it's, for me, I just don't like having to... I feel, for, you know, obviously freer when I have to... When I don't have to look at something and hold it and read it. But, um, but it is an art. And there are people that are fantastic at it. I feel like, you know, like it's something that you should be able to do as an actor, so... If you could go back and be on any television show that was on in the past, like old, an old timey show, um, classic TV, whatever, and play um, one of the roles, what would you do? God, I love Sean Hayes and Will and Grace. Um, I mean, it's such a fun part and such a fun character. Um, before that, oh, Popular, Ryan Murphy's Popular. That was such a fun show. Or any of those like old school, like high school shows, like. Uh, Claire Danes, what was that one? Oh, my so called life. Yeah, so called life. Just to stare at Jordan Catalano. Um, <laughs> gosh, some yeah, something fun like that. I know there's more that I can like, like a like a Saved by the Bell would have been fun to work on. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, who are your inspirations? Uh. Or influences um, or yeah, 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 like yeah. There was a, an old Filipino actor uh, called Dolphy. He was, uh, he was, he was like a, like a he, he was like the Robin Williams maybe of the Philippines. Uh, we, I watched a lot of his movies growing up because of my parents. Um, he was hilarious, like just comedy timing. Like I mean, that's somebody that's always stuck in the back of my head. Um, you know, like he looked like a normal person, like it, you know, like he he was chubby, he was. Uh, just freaking hilarious and sharp and um, and uh, hysterical. All his movies were hysterical, so that's uh, I think that's somebody that I was like, oh hey, I like him. Oh, and then finally, uh, what's the one thing that drives you crazy when you watch television or movies? Uh, I think it's that sometimes that I can't like get out of the uh, industry thinking or like as the actor where I'm like, mm, that wasn't a good choice or like. Oh, what is she wearing? Like, it doesn't match the character. Like, you know, just... I think that's also why I enjoy the horror movies so much is just because that completely takes me out of... It's such a, a, a outside, uh, you know, genre that, uh, you know, I, I, it completely takes me or, or removes me from thinking that way as an actor or performer or whatever. Um, not always, but uh, it's, for me, it's more of an escape. If I'm watching, like, some regular show where I'm like, mm, no, um, I then I get... Is that an answer? That's a perfect answer. What's one actor you'd like want to work with? Uh, Jason Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> For particular reasons. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Greatest day, Nicole. Jolanna Tiarianni. Oggi apre l'altra scissa Jolanni Omoyoro. I don't ever want to go there again. If you like what you saw, follow, like, subscribe, and if there's someone that you want me to interview, leave their name in the comments below. I'll see what I can do.